Okay, fellas, here we go. If you have a ball, keep it. If you don't have one, try to get it. Okay, go. Yes, now we're going. Here we go. And you thought you couldn't do it. Okay, now I'm going to follow my ball. I always follow my ball. Ah, see? It works, it works. I always believed in myself, but there were coaches that didn't believe in me and didn't give me opportunities that I think Manny saw in me. He gave me all the tools and all the confidence to, to be successful, and I just kind of ran with it. Manfred Schellscheidt is one of the founding fathers of U.S. soccer, and, and there are a lot of guys that learned under his tutelage, guys like Bruce Arena, Bob Bradley, Dave Sarakin. I'm part of that coaching tree, that's for sure. Coaching is really a, a, a matter of cleverly manipulating the, the little problems that you want them to solve. Right? To just tell them what to do doesn't work. The last exercise. So what, what are we working on? Okay, have you any idea what you need to get good at? You can hold the ball, keep it tight to your feet, what else? The method of teaching is better served by asking questions than giving answers because it doesn't really matter whether I have it all figured out. It only gets good when the player that I'm concerned about gets it all figured out. Yeah, shaking your shoulder. How about protecting the ball, right? Making sure you keep the ball away from the defender. Yes, yes, keep it tight, keep it tight. I was involved with the Olympic Development Program, and there was a tournament at Chula Vista at the Olympic Training Center. We played uh, Sasha's team in that tournament. After the game, he came up and asked me if I had committed to a college yet, and you know, I responded that I hadn't, and it was already January, so most of my teammates were all going to big schools already. He asked me to come and visit Seton Hall, and I liked it, and I heard a lot of great things about Manny, so uh, you know, I went with it. Best decision I ever made. Not only was he good with the ball, he had ideas. He could pull off plays. He sees things faster. He sees things clearer. And he can process more information than others. I didn't need to tell him anything because he already had a clear head and I wanted it just to get uh, brighter and better on his terms. The last year I was at Seton Hall, I was fully committed to leaving school early and I wanted to go pro. Bob Bradley was the coach of the Metro Stars at the time. Bob gave me the opportunity through Manny to come and train with the Metro Stars quite a few times. And that just, you know, made my hunger even greater. Bob, we were good friends and we, we were always talking and I said, look, I think this, this fellow has, has it in him. You know, he's the kind of guy that can move on. When I played at Seton Hall, I was primarily an attacking midfielder who didn't have to worry about the defensive side of things that much. You know, because he gave me that freedom. I think when I got to the next level, that was the part of my game that was lacking. Bob came to me before preseason started and said, listen, I, I have a guy to, for you that's going to be a little bit of a project for you to help along the way, and his name's Sasha Kleschen. Kleschen is on. Sasha pulls it across, and there it is. It's Chelsea Marsh. I had Jesse Marsh playing next to me, who was like the coach on the field. I learned a lot from Jesse, too, about working hard on both sides of the ball, not just being an attacking player, but being a box-to-box -box midfielder as well. Towards the end of the first season was the game in the playoffs at Houston, where we end up losing and, and getting knocked out of the playoffs. I remember coming off the field and him coming up to me and just being like, wow, you played like a man today. 
fought, you did everything that you possibly could. So unfortunately, we lost, but that's a huge step forward for you. I remember that moment as kind of a turning point and then us uh, in our relationship growing. Jesse had good advice for me going into the training camp. He just said, look, give everything you have every day in training 100%. And in the end, if Bob decides not to take you, you can at least look yourself in the mirror and say, look, I tried everything I possibly could. I did my best. Elm. As Ching gets it going at the other end. Clash Jack! Yes! I describe the moment that we cut Sasha from the World Cup team as the most difficult moment in my coaching career. If we had 24 spots, he would have been the 24th. It was one of the lowest points of my career. It was nice that Jesse was there because I remember he came up to my room a couple hours later and, you know, tried to console me and, you know, I was sad and I was disappointed, but he was there for me. Fortunately for me, a week later I signed for Anderlecht and it was kind of like one door closes, another door opens. past nine years I've been working on the defensive side of the ball more than anything else. I think I really picked it up even more with the tactical awareness when I went to Belgium. My picking off of passes, my tackling, all that has gotten a lot better since the last time I was in MLS five years ago. When I was appointed in this position, Sasha was the first guy I thought about. I made a phone call pretty quickly <laughs> and we started the conversation. For me and my family, this was a, a unique opportunity that came up. My wife and I talked about coming back to the States. We had this dream of living in America again. I just want to say thank you to all the Anderlecht fans for making me feel at home. What's up, guys? How are you? Goes as cold as you remember it. Colder, I think. Perhaps I stayed at Anderlecht and I won another title this year, and that would be their 34th in their history. Good luck, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you. I think it's going to be a little bit more special to me personally if I can lead the New York Red Bulls to their first ever title. It's a huge goal of mine. I want to go down in history with this club. The timing was perfect for me. Come on. Just after the first game we had at Kansas City, I spoke to Jesse and he said, you know, as a midfielder, you need to be even more concerned with coaching your teammates on the field. Matt, 100% concentration today. I don't care if you lose the ball, your guy doesn't score. Kill people, okay? Playing a little tournament, five aside with a goalie. Close him! Good part was very competitive. Right, let's go. That's what training needs to be. Come on, run! I don't believe much in guys to think they can turn the switch and be somebody else when match time comes around. Turn! Come on, connect it! Sasha has won almost every single day that he's been here. Go, Matt! Go, Matt! Go, Matt! Go, Matt! Go, Matt! Good. The training sessions become more difficult than the matches you play in on the weekend. Right? If you get to that point, then you get some goal. Yes, Wally! Yes! His team made it to the final and lost in the last waning moments of the final game. You could see he, he wasn't happy. That is the trademark of good players. They want to make sure they get it right every time. J'ai dit avec ça, et ça était tout seul. I look at him to take all of the lessons that he's learned over the years, and I ask him to now give that to the group and, and help this team understand how to be successful. But he motivated his team, man. He won yeah, one, yeah. tied one. It was, I, I loved it when he, did you hear him yell at Avang? And he yelled, Aiden Ma, help me. 
Yeah. You know, obviously, I, I try to go and speak to guys one on one after and let them know like, I'm not being hard on you because just for no reason. I, I know you can do better and I want you to do better and I want you to learn and, and keep continuing to grow and help our team get better. So the thing for me is that through everything, trying to be positive and being, being a positive impact on the guys around me. The best quality that I can speak of about Sasha is that he has the ability to make the players around him better. And that's about the best compliment you can make to anybody. Good job, guys.